Hi, Harold Dick again, and we're here for another session of Fun with Statistics. I want to talk about logistic regression today, which begins on page 299 of your text, chapter 6. Remember, logistic regression is one of those supervised learning data mining techniques with a dependent variable that you're trying to explain, except that this time the dependent variable is a 0, 1 dichotomous variable. I'm going to use the data set Oscars small, and we have a dependent variable which tells you whether they won the Best Picture Award. One, the value one, means the movie won the Best Picture. Zero means that the movie lost. Our dependent variable is going to be the number of Os total Oscar nominations. And uh, I'm going to be referring to uh, the next few pages. So if you have your book, you can kind of follow along. Starting with the Excel file, what I did is I imported the Excel file into Jump. And if you have the tab there, then you might want to make sure that you've set the preferences to use first rows as column names. I'm not actually going to do it because I've already imported the data. And from there, you would click on Data Table that would open up Jump. And here we have Jump open with our Oscar Small data set in Jump. And I'm going to start by doing a regression of our winner variable on Oscar number of Oscar nominations, just to show you why straight regression doesn't work and why we need to use logistic regression. So I'm clicking on Analyze, hit Y by X, and winner is going to be our Y variable, and number of Oscar variable uh, nominations is our X variable. And you'll notice that I have both of these variables designated as continuous with our blue triangle. That means Y by X, both continuous, I'm getting the bivariate scatter plot. I do regression, I get uh, a plot here, clicking on the red triangle hit line gives me my best line, the least squares regression line with regression intercept and slope coefficients. The main point to show here is that this doesn't work because if we extend then we would predict negative probabilities probabilities greater than one as the number of Oscar nominations increases. That's just to drive home the point that regression, straight regression, doesn't work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my uh, y variable. I'm going to do a right click on the blue triangle, change it from continuous to nominal, and again, analyze, hit y by x. I'm just going to recall my last regression. But now, because I have my y variable is nominal, I will get the logistic regression rather than the uh, straight regression. Click on OK. But you'll notice, the first thing that I notice is that the graph doesn't look like the graph in the book. Our graph in the book comes down in the other direction. The reason is because it uses default of finding the log of the odds ratio of the zero value to the one value for my y variable. So I want to use the ratio of one to zero instead. I'll close this, click on the winner. I did a right click on the winner variable name, click on column properties and value ordering. Click on the one, move up, and now the ratio will be one to zero instead of zero to one. Click on OK. Rerun the last regression that we just had. Recall. OK. And now you see this plot is the ratio of the 1 to the 0 for my y variable. And this plot looks like 
the one that we have in the book, showing you that as the number of Oscar nominations increases, the probability of winning the Best Picture Award increases from 0 to 1. If I click on the red triangle, I can ask for the odds ratio. That shows up here at the bottom. I can also click on inverse prediction, perhaps wanting to see when the probability is 19% and 30%. OK. And the reason I picked those is because your textbook uses those values. When you have eight total nominations, then the prediction is about 19%. This shows me a 95% confidence interval about that predicted value. When you had nine Oscars, it goes up to about 30% chance of the Best Picture Award with this 95% confidence interval. And that's shown up here in the table with the inverse predictions as well. thought I'd provide an additional explanation. We had run the logistic regression before I did the inverse prediction. We had the estimated regression, logistic regression values for B1 and B0. And just wanted to sh point out that in your book, they show up in this logistic regression. In other words, the y dependent variable that you're estimating is what's called the log of the odds ratio, the probability of winning to the probability of losing, in this case the Best Picture Award, is a function of this b naught plus b1 times x, where x is the number of Oscar nominations. We only have one x variable in this equation. The interpretation of this slope estimate means that for each one unit change in number of Oscar nominations going from 7 to 8, for example, means that 0.596 is the change in the log of the odds ratio. For most of us, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So we need to go backwards and undo things. We exponentiate both sides taking e to this power and e to this power and a little bit of math, we solve for p hat, we get this equation. In other words, we can find what p hat is given the value of x1 in our, in our logistic regression. Fortunately, jump does this for us. We don't have to do this mathematically. It will give us those probabilities and that's what our inverse prediction does. So there you have it. Thanks again.